Do you ever find it hard to stick to a habit or to do what you say and want to actually do? In this video, I'm gonna break down the easiest ways to actually implement habits and use them day to day. Let's dive into it. Too often, I see people who are saying one thing but not doing what they're saying, and typically that means that their intention and what they actually want to do are out of sync. So in this video, I wanted to make an easy way for anyone to be able to implement habits into their life, weekly, monthly, daily, whatever that may be, without stress and without negating the actual thing that you wanna do. Because often that is the problem with so many of us when we dive into something new, we say we're gonna do all this stuff, we build up a lot of stress trying to do it, and then we stop it. And so in this video, I really wanted to break down a few of the easiest ways to implement and keep habits going daily. The first thing, the first thing that everyone has to remember when it comes to implementing habits and starting to basically rebuild a routine in your life is that consistency is the only thing that will work. Doing it day after day after day for about 31 days is what it takes for a habit to be implemented. So. If you continue on that path and you're going day after day after day for 31 days with any habit, right? And let's make it something small, simple to do, easy at the beginning, maybe it's flossing, then that's gotta be the easiest way to guarantee that you continue to keep that habit up and you're always doing what you want to do. Number two is to remove obstacles or distractions when it comes to whatever you're trying to implement. If you wanna to go to bed early, maybe it's not a good idea to have a TV in your room. If you wanna floss, maybe it's not a good idea to have your floss hidden away in some drawer or compartment. The more that we take away these obstacles, the easier it is for us to set ourselves up for success, leading to number three, which is actively set yourself up for success with habits. No matter what you're doing, likely there's something else that you could be doing, which will set you up for better success. If you're starting a new supplement regimen, it doesn't really make much sense to keep all your supplements out of view from where you do your day-to-day -day activities, right? If you're supposed to take your supplements with food, then quite literally, you should make sure your supplements are next to your food. The more that you do that, the easier it's going to become to every single day take your supplements. The same goes for reading. Make sure you have books at the place where you lounge post-work, or maybe you have to do research and read for work, so you have books in your backpack or you have books by your computer to allow yourself to remember, hey, I need to read these few chapters. That's one of the easiest ways to make sure that you are set up for success. As humans, we often get distracted and we start to do things that we don't wanna do just because of availability, because of bad habits that we built, and because we're firing and wiring certain pathways over and over and again. And that's why we check our phone 67 times throughout the day trying to see what is going on when we know nothing has changed because we checked three minutes ago. Number four is accountability because you have to have some reason and something actually holding you to this habit. What you focus on gets energy put into it. So by creating either a journal, a notebook, some type of Excel document, or something that will allow you to daily list down the habits, say that you've done them, make sure that you are accountable, you're allowing yourself to be put in a position where you go every day, oh, did I do what I was supposed to do? Which therefore reinforces the fact that you should continue to do it over and over again. And your mind realizes that not only did you build in the habit of looking to see if you did the habit, but that you either did or didn't do it, so then you can do it during the day. And the last thing is the habit has to have a purpose. If you're going to implement a habit, anything, there has to be a purpose behind it. Even if it's just that you want to do something or that you've seen that it might be better if you do X than it is Y or if you set your day up in a different light, that can be one of the most beneficial things to actually allowing you to succeed in what you're doing because of the fact that there's a purpose behind it. But if you're doing it just because you heard something and you don't know if it really works or you really don't want to do it, well then that can detract a lot from what you're actually trying to do. There has to be a purpose behind everything. And if there isn't a purpose for why you're wanting to do something, then likely you're not ever going to do it. That's it for this video. I hope it helped. If it did, make sure to press the like button Leave a comment below with your favorite habit or something you're trying to implement right now. And make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when more videos like this come out in the future. Talk soon.